the reclassification of prime and composite numbers. In order to properly understand the system of numbers, it is crucial that each number be classified correctly. I am asserting that this is not currently the case and is one of the many fundamental errors to be found in science today. It is thought that numbers may be easily divided into two groups, those that are called prime and those that are called composite. A prime number is recognized as a number that has factors of itself and one only. A composite number is recognized as a number that has more than these two factors. As we shall see, this is not the whole story or the right way of looking at the picture. First, we will examine the prime numbers and then the composite numbers using what I call mod 9 analysis. By mod 9 analysis, I'm referring to the conversion of a given number sequence into its mod 9 counterpart sequence. This has the effect of unearthing a periodicity in number sequences. It can be found in various segments of my work covering cellular mitosis, Fibonacci, and many other important integer sequences. In mod 9, 12 is 3 because 9 goes into 12 once, of 3. So we write 12 equals 3. 35, for example, would be expressed as 8 mod 9 because 9 goes. 35 expressed in mod 4, for example, equals 8 remainder 3. So 35 equals 3 mod 4. The first thing I did was to simply apply mod 9 to the first 65,000 prime numbers. This revealed the surprise to me that mod 9 results exclusively returned 1, 2, 4, 5, 7 or 8 for all prime numbers greater than or equal to 5. The 72 number sequence mod 9 that I discovered in my paper on music, 6 octaves of 12, led me to arrange the numbers 1 to 72 and place them into six columns as laid out below left with the mod 9 answers on below right. The layout above quickly shows why prime numbers will exclusively return these remainder values infinitely because the prime numbers only occur in column 1 and column 5 which simply repeat 7, 4, 1 and 5, 2, 8 respectively. By removing columns 2, 3, 4 and 6, leaving only columns 1 and 5 as displayed below, we are left with only primes in red and some other numbers in black. Leaving the one aside for the moment, these other numbers are immediately identifiable as either products of prime numbers, as in 5 times 7 equals 35, 5 times 11 equals 55, or exponents of prime numbers, for example, 5 squared equals 25, 7 squared equals 49. These other numbers are currently classified as composite numbers, but should rightly be reclassified as prime composites and thought of exclusively as part of the prime number system, not the composite number system as it currently is. It is critically important to get this right if we are pro to properly understand the whole system of numbers. My friend Alex Syed kindly produced a flash program representation of this process here. Prime numbers, by virtue of their indivisibility, are the building blocks of all material phenomena or matter. In my structure of the universe, the prime numbers represent electricity as defined by the numbers 147 and 258 while the 369 are the magnetic infrastructure upon which electricity plays out her dance. We live in an electric universe mathematically unfolding with great precision and accuracy throughout time that is totally, totally governed by prime numbers and therefore it is prime numbers that we must understand thoroughly 
if we are to master the universe and everything in it. I want to argue vigorously that these previously referred to prime composite numbers identified above are really no different at all to these traditionally thought of prime numbers and actually hold the key to better understanding how prime numbers and the whole number system works. The numbers in question are created exclusively by combinations only of each other. They are all, therefore, inherently prime in and of themselves and nothing else. They are simply iterations of the prime number sequence itself and all the possible combinations thereof. This allows and accounts for the infinite complexity of physical reality. Reality is created by an infinite fractal expansion of prime numbers that creates a grid, much like a spider that spins its web. I think that if we are to deny the above, it's surely like saying that what comes of a union between two human beings is not human somehow and that it could be defined as anything else. If we think that all the other kinds of primes, so seeds, composites and exponents, are effects, then these a priori numbers, 1, 2, 3 and 4, can be thought of as the causes of those effects. Number one. The first number in this a priori group is the number one which I'm calling the void. Prime is omitted from the chosen name because immediately there is a question mark raised over even its strict belonging to a prime number classification at all, a priori or otherwise. Even though one fits as a member of the 147 group, obviously, the key here is that the number one has an additional factor exclusive to it other than one or itself, that being minus one. Minus one squared equals one. No other prime number, a priori or otherwise, can boast such a property, and it's this immediately that puts it squarely into its own grouping within even the a priori group of numbers. Numbers 2 and 3. The numbers 2 and 3 are really the workhorses, the building blocks of all physical reality and the system of numbers. All of physical numbers, the 2 and the 3, they should rightly be called the causative and the a priori group of numbers 1 to 4. It is important in that it is the first squared number, 2 squared, and as such introduces a new dimension or level of complexity by allowing for area in the same way that cubes allow for prime seeds. Prime seeds are defined as being all those prime numbers five and above traditionally thought of as prime i.e. divisible only by themselves and 1. 5, or 5 as I like to think of it, is the first of the reality. It is the first effect created by the additive function of the 2 and 3. Also directly connected to phi, as expressed by the Fibonacci sequence, and which is found everywhere in nature and throughout the human body. It's connected thus. Phi is equal to the square root divided by the 5 minus the square root of 5. Component. There are two types of prime composite numbers, pure prime composites and prime exponents. Prime exponents express the change in dimension of the prime seeds, whereas the pure prime composites are simply the interaction by multiplication of prime seeds. As proof of the validity and worth of the above analysis and conjecture, please consider the following. Above is a square of nine number spiral, drawn simply by placing the one in the middle, the two, four to the right of the three, etc., spiraling round and round.
And now if we highlight only the prime numbers traditionally thought, then we arrive at something called Ulam spiral. Our is direction here, but it makes no difference to the fact that the numbers traditionally called prime picture for sure, but one which definitely shows a preponderance by the prime numbers to appear on certain clear diagonals. Now, if we add in the prime composites and exponents as I suggest, then we have something much more defined and quite incredible. The amazing coherence and congruence displayed above must surely be diamonds that consist of 4x4 four four prime number nodes along the sides with 25 numbers in each. 12 numbers are shared with other adjacent sectors and 13 numbers could be considered to be contained, one of which is a single prime or a prime composite. Each diamond is constructed as either a pair of golden triangles or a golden rhombus. Each diamond contains a single prime that I've cut at the location of an eye with the effect that the diamonds look like little fish clockwise direction. Clearly delineated are four definite vortex. The interacting four vortices or two pairs of poles north, south and east, west. Next, please notice on the southwest distance of this coherence, so striking elsewhere. Here we find a curious bunch of numbers, highlighted in pink also, yet with a demonstrably even and predictable periodic occurrence. Perceivably have the effect of a snake slithering up or down a pyramid edge to exhibit this precise effect at solstices and equinoxes. The southwest diagonal is dominated for numbers and is announced by the presence of the prime exponent numbers in the form of 5 squared for 25, 7 squared for 49, 11 squared for 121, etc. On up through the powers, for example, 5 cubed for 625, and on and on. Prime numbers in the number 72. Now, assuming I'm correct about my reclassification of prime numbers as described above, then the first six prime numbers in physical reality total 72. 5 plus a 7 plus 11 plus 13 plus 17 plus 19 gets you 72. And extraordinarily, their mod 9 digit sum adds to its mirror or reflection 27. 5, 7, 2, 4, 8, 1. The importance of the above cannot be fully appreciated without understanding my partition theory paper, which I hope to release soon. Suffice to say that 27 is the number associated with all cause, and 72 represents all effect. Interestingly, when you take the first and last, second and fifth and third and fourth prime terms and add them together, each adds to 24, the number of terms in the mod 9 sequence generated by the Fibonacci numbers. In order to further cement my case that Mod 9 is useful at inferring insight not otherwise obtainable, we must examine the not prime numbers or what are commonly known as the composite numbers. Not just itself and one, as primes do. For example, 12 is a composite number and has factors of 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12, while 13 is prime as its mod 9 analysis to the rescue. As I examined the sequence of composite numbers, as is currently posited by academia, 
I had initially expected that I would from order in the sequence, but this was not the case, as was illuminated by the mod 9 analysis, which reveals the table to the right and the sequence. Can you see that these numbers are attempting to organize themselves, but it's not quite happening? This made me sure that there was something wrong here with the definition of composite numbers and I immediately realized that you have to take out the prime composite numbers as just described above. So for primes 5 and greater, starting with 5 times 5 equals 25, etc., we take these out and we should get some congruence appearing in the composite number that I was on the mark with the prime number analysis. As an aside, I noticed how the 2 and 3 which I had classified as a priori primes, that they very interestingly must be included here with the composite number because of the mod 9 sequence. The 2 and 3 are better classified as a priori composites and in fact this sits much better with me as everything seems to come together as a result of the union and dance of the 2 and 3. Okay, so here's the correct. So in the sequence, I've excluded those numbers that are traditionally thought of as composite, but which should rightly be classed as a prime composite for all primes greater than 5, starting with 5 squared equals 35, etc. Where there was no congruence before, there is now. Puts me in mind of 12 notes of the octave. 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 0. This can be broken down to show a numerical symmetry, this time in three dimensions, and which illustrate the family number groups in the columns created. So here we have the correct prime number sequence. Prime numbers are in fact a very simple group and have a simple six number sequence that repeats mod 9 that produces a pyramid. Please note that these are the same six numbers we see in the doubling sequence for cellular mitosis. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, their mod 9 counterpart, 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, recurring. So in conclusion, it seems absolutely clear to me that a reclassification of prime and composite numbers is in order. A mod 9 analysis of numbers illuminates the perfect order that exists in the system of prime and composite numbers. Please note that this paper is part of a much broader work. For more information and latest updates, please visit www.newunderstandings.com.